Hey, welcome to another week here at the Toller Inn. We are working again in the attic. Thomas is working on the electrical. He's finishing some of the receptacles in the hallway and play area. And then he's also working on some of the light switches. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm installing um, the little end pieces on the walls that we have in the play area and then I am getting started on some of the ceilings. So I have to do the ceiling in the bathroom and I have to do the ceiling in the hallway and I will see if I even get to uh, both of them or even potentially um, I might also get started on the ceiling in the play area. But we'll just see how far we get. Um, enjoy the video. So now that we have finished both sections of the end walls on either side here in the game area, we have to move on to the ceiling in the bathroom. There we just have to get um, a center beam put in and then we put uh, the joists. We are, I'm going to choose two, two by fours because they really don't have to hold much weight. The center beam I'm going to do a two by six but um, the joist that are just gonna hang on it, I'm just gonna do two by fours because there's not much weight, the span is really short. Um, so we're gonna finish that up so we can put the ceiling um, later on, so the drywall up whenever the bathroom is finished.
you can tell, here I have the center beam that we put up. We basically centered it in the middle of the room based on where the shower is, whether we had the shower wall at the beginning. And then it's a two by six. And then we just have small little joists going across that just connect the span here so that when we want to mount the drywall on top, we have something to screw against. So why did we add a ceiling here in the bathroom? Well, the main reason is it's easier to work with a flat section here than having all these angled sections on the wall here, on the ceiling. And we can actually mount lights much easier. We can mount anything that we really need to on the ceiling. And then also it makes it easier for the drywallers to just finish that whole section. If we had all these different small little angles, they would be really cursing me. And I didn't want to make it too hard on them uh, when we already have especially in the main section of the, of, the, of the master, all these different angles. I didn't want to make it too complicated everywhere else. So the bathroom really doesn't need to be as elaborate and therefore just a flat ceiling over the shower and the toilet and the rest of the room is just sufficient. So now that the bathroom is done, we have to move on to the hallway. We have to put in a whole ceiling there. We have to take a few beams down first that are in the way. I wanna make it all one flat section. So let's get started on that. So now the only thing that is missing here in the hallway ceiling is we have to take a few of these um, rafters that are coming down. They are slightly overhanging a little longer. I am going to fine tool them off wherever they need to be so that we don't have a small little piece sticking into it. We have to take a few nails out that are just still hanging everywhere and then when before we can drywall of course that whole section unfortunately this um, these two sections are not 
completely flat so we'll probably have to do some kind of support piece underneath there that just makes up the distance between the beam um, the far beam here and the close beam but we will do all that stuff probably next week because it's pretty late already um, and I really want to go home um, the other thing that we will have to do is right now here on that um, little roof section that is uh, sticking out here on the roof we have to put in a few uh, little support beams there's nothing there and I want to just do that so that, we, that when we want to screw the drywall in we have something to screw on otherwise we have all that empty space and uh, the drywall will just fall off again I'll um, have to do that on both sides so then the next thing that I want to talk about here is this little section up here obviously it's just a small little roof that is built on top of the main roof we will still when we insulate it we'll still insulate all the way around on the outside um, and not in here so we don't have an open space here where the where the heat can accumulate and uh, potentially penetrate the building so we are going to put a we're going to try to put a full envelope of insulation all the way around on the outside of the building um, and that also means on little sections that we might not use um, with the with the ceiling here built in but we will still spray foam the rest um, on the outside just so that we have an envelope all the way on the outside and it helps protect the house a little better.